What's up, you guys? This is Warren with Scale Audio, and today we're going to talk about something that is FL Studio related, and it is how to split your channel rack or your sequencer. It's a really quick option. It's really easy. Let's take a look. What will often happen is somebody's going to make something in their channel rack here like this. So, so it's really simple. If I wanted to split this pattern, all you got to do is right click here or click this drop down and you're going to go to split by channel. So that is going to drop it out into multiple different ones so that you can start changing things. Say I don't want the hi-hats, right? Or even just getting rid of the instrument. So really simple. Now, if you want to put them all back together, what you can do is you can put them all right back together and you can come down here, you right click the track it's on, okay? So track one, and we're going to go merge pattern clips. Now we have them all merged. Uh, we also have them separate, but as you can see, we've got our merged pattern clip again. And it's that simple. That's how you do it. Really quick and easy. You can make something in your pattern clip and have them all stacked up. Um, people do this because it lets you see ghost notes and all kinds of random things like that. Uh, if you don't know what ghost notes are, I, it's, I'll make that in another video. And then you just split them when you put them in the playlist. So this is Warren with Scale Audio. If you like the video, please like. If you have a comment, please comment. A subscribe is always appreciated. Again, Warren with Scale Audio and adios.